Hi, I'm Billy Menken, back with Exeter Cosmos on a beautiful summer solstice 2019. In this video, we'll tell you about a recent project where, on the roof of our school's gymnasium, we collected micrometeorites. This is an easy project that you can recreate from anywhere in the world. In this fun, hands-on activity, you'll get a taste of the most beautiful rocks and minerals in the universe, right from your hometown. Micrometeorites are granule-sized space rocks that have traveled through Earth's atmosphere without completely vaporizing. Around 60 tons of this stardust fall to Earth every day in a constant shower we never notice. They are typically between 0.2 and 0.5 millimeters in diameter, barely visible to the naked eye. For this project, you'll need strong magnets inside a Ziploc bag, a safe, preferably flat rooftop to which you've been given access, and a low-powered microscope with slide trays. Here's the procedure you can follow. Using the magnets inside the Ziploc bag, run the magnets along sections of the roof where there seems to be a lot of dirt pileup. This could be the edge of the roof and often gutters. You should hear small clicks as magnetic particles jump up from the roof onto your magnets. Most are just rust or iron filings, but some may be micrometeorites. If no dust is coming out from some particularly solid mud or dirt, Scoop some inside a plastic bag and sift through it with magnets later, breaking it apart with a fork or a stick as you go. Once some magnetic material has built up around your magnet, carefully turn the Ziploc bag right side out without letting any magnetic particles fall away. You'll be left with a magnet in one hand and a bag of dust in the other. Seal the bag and bring it to wherever you have your microscope, like at school. Here's the fun part. Pour a pinch of magnetic dust onto a slide tray and place the tray underneath the microscope. Carefully slide around the sample, examining as many pieces as you can, and scanning for the form of a micrometeorite, described in the article and book linked below. Namely, a spherical rock that might have its magnetic core poking out one end. This magnetic core, denser than the rest of the rock, shifted to the front of the micrometeorite as it burned in the atmosphere. You can take pictures of all the cool dust you find through the microscope lens. As you examine the magnetic dust you've collected, take lots of pictures. Most of these particles won't be micrometeorites, but they'll still have fascinating shapes and colors. If this subject fascinates you, see if there's a university near you with an electron microscope. Contact them and ask if you can use it to look at your micrometeorite collection, so you can determine the mineral composition of your micrometeorites and identify them by type. You'll get breathtaking images like the one here taken by collector John Larson, who wrote an entire book on micrometeorites which you can see in the description below. We did this project last September without knowing anything about micrometeorites, and it worked just great. Thanks for watching, and happy hunting.